it will grow to be. We start with our creative tools, a key part of our Sims DNA. We're experimenting with what's worked and where we can push further to offer more flexibility than ever before. We begin with the ability to change not only patterns and colors, but also the shapes of the objects that you'll be using when you build and decorate in-game. For years, we've seen the power of the community coming together and sharing the cool things you can do with your friends. Whether you've used the gallery or shared your creations elsewhere, being able to celebrate each other's work has been a long-standing tradition. With Project Renee, we want to make it easier to work together and share. You can choose to play or create by yourself or with your close friends. It's entirely your choice. No matter who you may want to play with, we want you to be able to play wherever you want. So this is demonstrating an early technology test of how you can play this game across supported devices of your choosing. Same experience, different screens. Now this is just a small taste of what Project Renee and the team is working on alongside The Sims 4 and mobile teams. Over the next couple of years, we'll continue sharing updates with all of you on Project Renee. We'll share in-progress work, explorations, sneak peeks, and behind-the-scenes content, as well as start to open up early access to Project Renee software to small groups over time. And I'll say it one more time before I go, this is super early for us, and we've never shared information about our games years before they launched to the world, but we are so excited to take you on this journey with us. Now, the best way to keep up with all of this and any news about Project Renee, alongside news of The Sims 4 and mobile games, is to sign up with thesims.com and follow our social channels for any updates from The Sims team. So that's it for me. Thank you for being here.